Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. Now, it is Saturday night, going on 11 o'clock. You're going to be watching this on Sunday. But I'm going to make a butter pecan cake with a little bit of a twist to it to make it just really super decadent. And I'm going to be making it in a buck pan. And I've already got my bunt pan greased and floured the old-fashioned way because I forgot to get any Baker's Joy. It's a flower spray, and I love it for when I'm making cakes. So let's get down here, and let's get this stuff put together in this cake. Now, as I said, it is a butter pecan. We're going to use a cake mix. And I just bought a Betty Crocker. Says there's pudding in the mix, which that's just that much more better. So let's get this open. Let me get something to open this with. And dump this in. And this is just a normal cake mix. Oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And y'all, I went to Walmart earlier and got some groceries. And I, the 18 count eggs I bought, every one of them on the bottom side were cracked. I don't know if I'd done it or if they'd done it. But they're good, so I'm going to have to use them because I just bought them. And I'm not about to throw them in the trash. Let me grab a bowl. Well, we'll just use this in case I was to get any eggshells. Because I don't want that. But we're putting in four eggs. There's two. Eggshell. The best way to get eggshell out, take a piece of the eggshell itself and dip in there, and that little sliver will go right in there. Now, number four. Four eggs and let's see a cup of water. There's a cup of water, three fourths cup of oil. We're going to mix this up. Now then, here's the twist. One can of coconut pecan frosting. We can get something to get this out with.
adding this frosting to this cake just sends it over the top. And once this is baked, I don't even put frosting on it because it is so moist and delicious. You want to make sure you get it all mixed up because you don't want a big clump of that frosting in it in one spot. All right. That's got it mixed up. And we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 45 to 55 minutes or until it's done. In the oven it goes, 45 to 55 minutes or until it's done. Now the cake is done and I set my timer for 55 minutes and it baked completely. I'd done the toothpick test on it where I stuck it down in there and it came out clean everywhere I stuck it. So now we're going to let it sit here and cool off a little bit, um, probably about 5 or 10 minutes or so. And then I'll flip it out onto this cooling rack or I'll put it on my cake pan, my cake platter here. But there's the cake, all nice and done. And it smells delicious, y'all. I wish I could taste it. But it is for youth night tomorrow night. But who knows? It cools off. I might try just a little piece of it. But there it is. So I'm going to let it cool off. And when I post this video, I will put the recipe that I used in the description box. So that if you want to try and make it, I think you'll really like it. If you don't have an allergy to nuts or coconut, I think you'll really like it. But we're going to let it cool off and then we'll be back. The pan's cool to the touch, so here goes nothing, or at least ways this part is. So, here's hoping. <gasps> Yay! Looky there. Now, isn't that pretty? Oh, and it's still nice and hot. Let's move this thing out from under it. Mm. Oh, I just want a big bite of that. Now, I could put a glaze on the top of it, but I'm not going to, and I'm not going to taste it right now. Maybe in the morning when I get up for church. Maybe. Mm. But, it's at least got to completely cool off, so we'll wait. 
Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and I just now got home from church, so I am going to try this cake that I made last night. And let me just say, it is super, super moist, and it's delicious. Mmm. I'll leave the recipe in the description box. So if you want to try this, it's I'm, this is the best and the easiest butter pecan cake I've ever made. It doesn't need any frosting because it is so moist. For me, I think the frost to put frosting on it would be an overkill. But I had to cut a little piece of it so I can try it. Mmm. Delicious. If you make it, you won't regret making it. This makes a good holiday gift, or holiday dessert, too. But me, I could eat it just any time. But there we have it, butter pecan cake. And as I said, I will share the recipe. It's a very simple recipe. And if y'all try it, let me know. But I thank you for spending a little bit of time with me, for allowing me to show you how to make this. And I'm gonna close this video out because we just got home from church and I'm gonna heat some soup up and I'm gonna have some soup. So I will talk to you guys later. I pray that y'all have a very blessed afternoon. That you just relax and enjoy the day. So with that, God bless. Take care. And until we meet here again, I'll see y'all later. Bye now.